Okay, so we are back and we're going to unbox the Hunger Games uh, 4K Steelbook Collection set uh, exclusive from Best Buy. It's sad that Best Buy will no longer be doing 4K movies at all. They won't be selling any no exclusives anymore. It will be all over around the month of April 2024. And uh, yeah, it's quite a sad thing, but at least Walmart will pick up the pace there. We'll pick up the mantle. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna take off this plastic and take a look at the inside. So um, there's a bit of spike. There's actually spot loss on the entire artwork. Besides the background, the background is just plain black. But the character, and we have this sort of gold wrap around each. It extends to the back. And I have to be careful here because the steel box on the next end. <laughs> so you can see it all kind of lines up to create this sort of um, logo design here. See, not with the arrows. And uh, this is the back. All right, so we're gonna try to take them out here one by one. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> it's gonna to get them out like halfway. All right, there we go. Gonna take them out one by one. So first up, really beautiful artwork there, and this is all the districts. Let's take a look at the inside. Take my time to open this. And inside, we do have the digital copy, of course. 4K and Blu ray. Let's see the artwork. When I saw this on unboxing video on YouTube, it had some really nice artwork inside. I just love how they create the text design. It's pretty nice. Tribute. I volunteer as tribute. So this is the first film. And the sort of flowery design here we have on both the 4K and the Blu-ray is, is really nice. Especially on the Blu-ray though. Definitely better. Should have done that for the 4K disc. <laughs> and uh, let's kind of put back the... Uh, So copy that will be used by the time I upload this video and actually this is a first print so we have a first print guys and the first pressing that is really neat I think I also saw that on the uh, zombie movie as well and second film I think this is Catch and Fire right we have the artist signature below Think if I could sort of zoom into that, it's a bit difficult um, to focus. But I really love this one. We have a picture of the map, I guess, with a few districts, and we have this sort of um, spot loss on the fires. It looks neat. Let's take a look at the inside. Wow, this one is gorgeous. I love the colors on this. It's like a green, like a moss green and a yellow. Alright, so we do have the 4K disc. And uh, the uh, Blu-ray. So it says, may the odds be ever in your favor. Really cool. I love the flower design on this one as well. This yellow color. It's like a mustard yellow. Put this back. Trying to be careful because I don't want the steel box to drag on this tile at all. Alright. And I'm gonna put this aside now. That's steel book number two. And everything seems to be in perfect condition, no damages whatsoever. 
And this is another picture of the map. If I'm correct on what I saw online, all of these seal box will line up with the maps. And uh, yeah, love this artwork as well. Really nice, everything is uh, glossy. And it's probably, yeah, I think it's the same artist that did all of these pieces. And this one is nice. Wow. Okay, so we have like a sort of rose here now. It's a rose actually. And uh, 4K and Blu-ray, of course. So this is the Blu-ray. Then we have the 4K disc. A white rose. And inside, fire is catching. And if we we burn, you burn with us. It's a really nice design. Well, but did this seal book artwork? Can't really recognize the name there, but um, it is beautiful. And I think this is how it should be done when it comes to uh, seal book. Uh, 4k sets like this where everything is sort of matching and um, it just looks much nicer it looks like a family of of uh, steelbooks instead of something separate i do like you know different artworks for different steelbooks but um in situations like this it's a bit different you know and um it just looks a lot better when you put them together like this all right so that's the third and we have the last one uh, take my time to take out this and this is the fourth movie. This is also nice. So it has the sort of uh, spot loss on the leaves and the arrow. And the back again is once again a map, a piece of the map. We'll put them all together and see if it is we can line them up. And uh, this is the inside. So <laughs> if you notice the floor and have a sort of brick. And um, right, so that is the 4K disc, and uh, we have the Blu ray on the left, also nice and signed and nice inside as well. So, may your aim be as true as your heart is pure. So, these sort of um, quotes, famous quotes from the film, all the movies, and they kind of put that on the steel book which is um, a really nice idea. And let's try here to line them up. All right, so we do have the fourth film. And this is the third film. Then we have the second film. So it's kind of moving, so. All right, and last one, which is the first film. So you can see that a bit more here. That is the full map alongside the districts. It's a really nice set. Um, and um, the seal book covering for each is solid. It's not no flimsy thing like they did with Indiana Jones is solid. As well as um I think uh forgot the name of it. Um Rambo. I'm not sure if Rambo had a flimsy box. But this one is solid. And that's it guys. That is basically the unboxing. I'm gonna show you to the front of each here now. Um all together. Second movie. Right, uh, third. And uh, last one, the fourth. And I put them all together here for you to see. All right, and there we go. So that has been the unboxing, and uh, tune in next time for another 4K unboxing. Take it easy, guys. Happy holidays. Take care.